Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you'll learn all about the new lead generation reports in GA4, Google Analytics 4. So if your goal is to generate leads on your website, these new reports are designed for you. You'll find the reports we're about to explore useful if people complete a form to get a quote, book a consultation, request a callback, or register interest. They're designed to support any type of lead. Okay, we're going to explore the new lead generation reports, the recommended events you'll need to implement to use them, and how to add these reports to your property if you don't see them yet. Let's jump in, let's head to Google Analytics. I've already logged into my own demo property, so let's navigate to reports. If your GA4 property already has the business objectives collection of reports, then you will probably already have access to the two new Generate Leads reports. In my demo property, I don't have the Business Objectives reports, so we can't see both of the new reports, but we can see I have the Lifecycle reports. If you also have this, then you'll have access to one of the two new reports. To find it, let's select Acquisition, and we can now see the new Lead Acquisition Report. This report will show you how people find your website before they become a lead. In this report, we can see I just have a few new leads, but the Qualified Leads and Converted Leads metrics are showing zeros. I'm going to talk about these new metrics more in a moment. But first, I want to show you how to add the full set of new reports to your property. If you don't see the Generate Leads reports, I'm going to show you how to add them to your GA4 property. To do this, you will need editor or administrator permission. If you don't have the correct level of permission, you'll need to get someone who does to add the reports. If you do have the correct level of permission, you will see the library option at the bottom of the menu. Let's select this. Now let's click Create New Collection. And let's select the Business Objectives template. This will add a range of pre-configured reports, but since I just want to focus on the new Generate Leads reports, I'm going to remove some of the other reports I don't need. So I'm going to remove the sales reports, the traffic reports, and the retention reports. Now I'm going to click Save. And let's navigate back. We can see our new collection isn't published yet, so let's click the three vertical dots and select Publish. We can see our main reporting menu on the left has been updated to include the new Generate Leads reports. Let's select this. We can now see both of the new Generate Leads reports. These are the Lead Acquisition report we looked at previously, along with the Lead Disqualification and Loss report. Let's open the Lead Acquisition report. Again, this report shows how many new, qualified, and converted leads you've received. The report is user-scoped, which means it looks at each individual person, not just sessions or page views. The new leads metric is based on the recommended Generate Lead event. The Qualified Leads metric is based on the Qualify Lead event and the Converted Leads metric is based on the Close Convert Lead event. As people trigger each of these events as they progress through your funnel, they will be counted under each of these columns in the report. So to populate this report, you will need to be sending specific events to Google Analytics. Any of the recommended events that aren't collected will result in the report showing zeros for that particular metric. As we can see in my demo property, I'm only currently tracking the Generate Lead event, so the other metrics are showing zeros. Now let's open the Lead Disqualification and Loss report. 
this report helps you understand why some potential customers didn't move forward. To populate this report, you'll need to send details about why leads were lost and disqualified to Google Analytics. The great thing about this report is you can customise exactly what you want to send to Google Analytics. So you can have your own specific criteria and reasons appear here. You can then use this to optimise your follow-up, targeting and qualification processes. And just to highlight for my demo property, I haven't implemented loss and disqualification reasons, which is why the report is blank. Along with the reports, Google has also announced that there are eight new audience templates you can use. To find these, let's navigate to Admin. Now let's select Data Display, and then Audiences. Like adding the reports, you will need the correct level of permission to create new audiences. Since I do have the correct permission for my demo property, I can click New Audience. You can then select the Generate Leads tab to find and use the new audience templates. The templates include options for leads, new leads, working with new leads, qualified leads, working qualified leads, disqualified leads, converted leads, and unconverted leads. You can use these audiences in Google Ads for retargeting and excluding certain segments. It's a great way to improve your ad efficiency and conversion rates. And you can also use audiences for additional reporting in Google Analytics. Okay, now let's talk a bit more about the events you'll need to implement for the reports to show data. This is really the most important step. Let's head to Analytics Help to get the details. We're looking at the Analytics Help article, which covers recommended events you can implement. This article now includes details for the new recommended events for lead generation. We can see Google recommends the following events. The Generate Lead event for when someone submits a form or shares their contact information. The Qualify Lead event for when you classify a lead as being qualified. The Disqualify Lead event. The Working Lead event when you're in the process of contacting the lead. The Close Convert Lead event when a lead becomes a customer. And the Close Unconvert Lead event when a lead doesn't convert. All of these events can also be sent with parameters, which I recommend sending whenever possible. You can click through on each of these events to see the suggested parameters. And in terms of sending these events to Google Analytics, you can do this using Google Tag Manager, a modified Google Tag, Event Data Import, or using the Measurement Protocol. The new lead generation reports in GA4 will be helpful if your business captures and converts leads. The reports give you better visibility into your lead funnel, help you identify where you're generating leads and where they drop off. The first step will be to ensure you set up the recommended events. I've included links to extra resources in the description below this video. And if you're just getting started with GA4 or want to improve your tracking setup, be sure to check out my other tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.